Here, here is the key to a successful weekend. You have to chill on Friday nights and then you step it up Saturday and Sunday. Like, I don't know. I can't, I don't like going out on Friday nights because by Friday, by the time Friday comes, I'm so ready to just come home and sit down and relax. So the key to managing your weekend, and I'm telling you this, I promise it works. You have to stay in on Friday nights. Hey, Kat. Hey. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Woohoo! Cat is pouring champagne for us. Just taking a day off from dry January. Thank you so much. We are just having like a little chill girls night in. That's Cat's dinner. I'm just making pasta like a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just gonna watch some Netflix, so we'll figure out. Cheers! Okay guys, so we are on the couch. <laughs> we are watching the Fire Festival documentary and like we're only what maybe like 10 minutes in mm -hmm. we are already like 10 minutes in and we're already this asking so many questions they, they bought Pablo Escobar's island from who like who was able to sell that island to him like did somebody else own it was it just like the Bahamas island? Like, we're already so confused. So, mm -hmm. this is a two-hour documentary. So we just know there's there's gonna be so much. We we'll fill you in. <laughs> you guys, this is insane. Oh my gosh! They're like making them set up basically like wristband, like basically digital wallets for them to like add money on to use at the fire festival. They're literally just like using the money. Like Billy and the rest of his team are just using the money to, I guess what, fund the rest of the poor execution. They're like ad funds. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. He spent all this money on a ticket. And now the same amount of money on the wrist band, it seemed... This is insane. This is crazy. I wouldn't... And by the way, how's this... What? Oh my gosh. So this is now becoming clear that there wasn't any money. Oh wow. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. If you've been watching these vlogs for a little while now, you know that I basically just always sleep in my work clothes from Friday and just... That's why I always have on the same shirt, like my Friday shirt and my Saturday vlogs. But today is Saturday. You guys can't see, I don't think. Whoa. But it is snowing outside. I love it when it snows here. Um, a lot of other people don't like it when it snows here. I didn't get a lot of snow growing up, so yeah, I like it. Um, I am having a little bit of breakfast whoa that's weird having a little bit of breakfast right now i am about to go to a hip-hop yoga class at 10 30 so i've got like an hour um but i've got like maybe 30 40 minutes before i need to leave so that's what i'm doing today i went ahead and got up a little early because i had to do a couple of things for work Thank God for macros. Thank you, Microsoft and Excel. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to fuel up a little bit. I forgot to sign off on the vlog last night, but Kat and I finished watching the Fry Music Festival um, Netflix documentary. Y'all, what? Oh my gosh. Like, I have to commend Billy for just like sticking to his guns but he should have known he knew y'all he knew six months out it wasn't gonna happen there was no infrastructure like he was just promising people things that he couldn't give them he was promising people things that he wanted to give them he wanted to give them this illusion but he couldn't deliver that goes to show you can't believe everything. You cannot believe everything that you see on social media. 
you should not be willing to just freely drop two, three, four, five thousand dollars on a music festival that is brand new. If you haven't watched it yet, you need to go to Netflix and you need to watch like the Fry Festival documentary. It's insane. So um it's 9 30 now. Should probably like hop in the shower real quick, wash my face put on my yoga clothes and get ready to call us a lift because we don't want to take a bus today because it's too cold. I am just putting on extra socks because I have clearly have on yoga pants and we have to go outside in the snow. So, yeah. So I've got this. I feel like I need this. I need my keys. I need my wallet, wherever that may be. Welcome to my life. I'm normally a very well put together person. Today, no, not at all. Got my wallet. camera I need a hat and I need chapstick for my mouth because my lips are super dry this is my favorite hat my little pom-pom hat so. and I have to use the bathroom so bad but I really need to get downstairs so we can go so I just look like an absolute terrible mix match mess. Like, it's ridiculous how weird I look right now. I think I'm gonna wear my other boots just because they look a little better. These are actually like made to walk in snow weather, but I already look just pieced and thrown together. So we're gonna wear these. My dirty laundry down there. We're gonna wear these and I'm gonna get some chapstick. I hate, I'm just like such an inefficient person. Ugh. I gotta get my yoga mat because how can you go to a yoga class without a yoga mat? Sorry guys. Lots going on this morning. type of morning it is. It's wild and crazy this morning. What is going on with my camera? It keeps like zooming in on it by itself. Okay, let me turn out the closet light. Let me grab my yoga mat, wherever the hell that is. Here it is. Ugh. Thank God it was just sitting right here. Oop. All right guys, I gotta go. Guts to go. I'll check in with you guys later. We have made it to our lift. How are you feeling, Kat? Pumped. Yeah? Pumped for hip-hop yoga this morning? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's way too cold out, though. It is very so cold. cold. It is snowing, if you guys can't tell by the windows in the car. Here's a little peak so you guys can see. Nice and snowy out here. But yeah, we are on our way to yoga, and it should be a good day. Yeah. I've never done hip hop yoga before, so <laughs> I'm pretty pumped. <laughs> we will check in with you guys afterwards. Oh my hat. Hi, girl. Oh, my I'm, we're vlogging. We're vlogging. Say hey, Maya. Hi. This is my first time doing yoga. Yeah. Okay. 
It was we, a lot of fun. We just finished <laughs> hip hop yoga um, here at 602 yeah. Jungle. Yeah. It was so much fun. Like, so, so, so much fun. Like, I'm so glad I came. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, am I walking in your picture? Oh, sorry. That yoga class was awesome. Didn't you have a good time? So much fun, oh my gosh. We had the best time. If you are ever in Minneapolis and you need just like some good yoga, we did the weighted, the weight sculpt hip hop yoga with Rita at 612 Jungle. You guys have to do it. Like, no questions asked, nothing. Sign up for her yoga classes. She has Groupons out there. It's so bright out here. Um, but yeah, like, you guys need to do it. We had a blast. We cannot wait to come back and try it again. Would recommend. What was your favorite, what was your favorite part? Oh my gosh. The lunges, just like, your quads are on fire in the best possible way. So, so on fire. I think my favorite part, honestly, I think it was when we were like building heat even mm -hmm. further, when we were doing like the jumping jacks mm -hmm. and like the punches and stuff really good because you can kind of just like boom get into it so we are about to hop in a lift whenever it gets yes. here and we got to go get some food because we're hungry <laughs> <laughs> I am back from my day out um, we had so much fun at hip-hop yoga today like so much fun we made a quick stop at Trader Joe's to grab a couple of things pretty flowers this week um, I actually got two um, bouquets of flowers because at Trader Joe's, they're like $6. So, why not? So, I'm about to do the first bouquet. Just going to cut them up and arrange them. Um, yeah. So, I had a really good morning. I stopped by Target to pick up just a few things. I got a plunger because everybody needs a plunger. And then I also picked up some like throw pillows. These are really, really cute. I got them on sale for $9. They're like this light pink and kind of like a velour texture. So yeah, they were each like $9, just about $8 and some change. So and I had really been looking for some pillows because my couch is so big and it came with four pillows, but they're white. And I really needed some color in here, especially since it's so drab outside. It's supposed to be like this until maybe like end of February, beginning of March. So, but it's supposed to get really cold next week. And I just need something to kind of remind me like, hey, good days are coming. Like you gotta stay bright, you gotta stay positive, so. That's what I'm kind of working on. I first, I've got some hydrangeas over there on the counter that I'm gonna work with in just a second, so. Yeah, there's um, another key to keep your flowers fresh for longer. Add a little sugar to the water. I read it in a book and I tried it out and I swear it's worked, so. Yeah. And make sure your water is cold too. So, yeah, this should be good. These will probably last like a week and a half. I just, I love flowers. And whenever I can get them for as cheap as six or seven dollars, you better believe it. Like some people will go out and get a Starbucks coffee every single day. I will pick up fresh flowers every single week. So, absolutely love love my fresh flowers so i'm just gonna put them up here and then they look so cute look how cute they look you guys Ta-da! hey guys it is i feel like this is super zoomed in okay there we go it is saturday night let's see what time is it it's 10.36. I like washed and blow dried and curled my hair. Um, I'm just on the couch. I'm on the couch watching Cable Girls right now. So 
this is basically like my night. Um, if you haven't seen Cable Girls on Netflix, you should really watch it. It's actually really good. Like, if you don't mind reading subtitles, if you can't understand Spanish, it's a really good show. But I'm just like cozied up on my couch in my robe. Um, I think I'm just going to make like a hot tea or something. And then I'm going to go to bed in a little bit. So it's been a pretty chill weekend. It's, like you guys know, it's too cold to go outside and do anything. Um, I had fun this morning. <sighs> I'm a little tired. But other than that, I think today was a pretty, it's a pretty good day. So, but... I'm about to finish this episode and then I'm headed to bed so this is it for the vlog tonight and I will pop on a little bit tomorrow all right good night oh good Sunday morning you lovely people it is like 10 30 10 45 I'm just <laughs> I'm on my couch watching the office if you've never seen The Office, you're missing out on life. Like, <laughs> they have Idris Elba in this episode, and he's like their new like manager, and they're all playing soccer to impress him. And Jim ducked, and the ball hit Phyllis in the face. <sighs> um, but I woke up this morning and walked into like my living room area, this area, and I hear like a loud bang. And I've heard this bang before. And I go over to my window and I see that there has been a collision once again between the light rail and a vehicle. This time one block up. Last time it was like right here on my block. Um, but yeah, so I mean, obviously like the ambulance and first responders were on the scene within like 30 seconds. So yeah. That's kind of how the morning has started. Um, I'm still quite sore from our sculpt hip hop yoga yesterday. I'm feeling it, but I kind of like want to do it again. So I think I'm going to sign up to go again on Saturday. Um, supposed to go to a brunch in a little bit. Um, so that should be interesting. The restaurant that we're going to is like an old school ish diner. But the menu actually looks pretty good, so this should be good. I don't know how cold it is outside. I think it's probably like single digits, maybe. Maybe the negatives. I don't have my phone to tell, to show you guys right now. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to snow tonight. I'm so excited. When you grow up in a place that does not get snow and then you move to a place that is like known to get snow but has not been getting a lot of snow this winter you get excited when it when it snows that's why we were so excited yesterday when it was snowing for most of the day so i hope the snow is a little bit thicker tonight i would love it if we got like i don't know like five six inches i'm also saying that because i never have to leave my home to get outside and go anywhere but also when it snows it's a little bit warmer so it's not going to be like negative four degrees outside when it's snowing. It'll probably be like 10 degrees or 12 degrees. Who knows? But it's supposed to warm up this week and get to like maybe 20, 23 degrees, which is actually legit a real warm up. I just wanted to hop on this morning and let you guys know I'm alive. This is my hair. I always like... I really tried to do like a Meghan Markle-ish style like you guys saw me in a couple videos ago where it's like a side part and swoop and wavy. That wasn't working because I tried to do it on the opposite side so instead I just have a regular all middle part, some loose two day, second day waves. So, But yeah, so that's kind of what the day is looking like today. Nothing major, nothing intense, nothing I'm going to be stressing out over, so happy Sunday to you lovely people. <laughs> okay, so you can't see my full body, but this is all that matters. So this is what I'm wearing to brunch today. These are like my favorite Levi's jeans. 
They do have the knees busted out, and I know it's super cold outside, but they're my favorite. They just fit pretty well. I've got on my super fun little Steve Madden booties. I've got on this super cute, chunky orange sweater. Um, I got it from TJ Maxx, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Quick brunch. Nothing too wild or crazy today. Um, I'm supposed to be at brunch like right now, but I'm not. I'm about to order a lift and I'll get there when I get there. So we shall see. I feel like the other person's probably running late anyway, so that's all right. Um, but yeah, so this is me for brunch. I feel like my hair is really big today. So, but that's fine. A lot of hair keeps my head warm in the winter time, so. Headed to brunch, and I will check in with you guys later. <sighs> well, I am back from an 11.30 brunch, and it was a lot of fun. We just like went to this really cool place called High Low. If you're in Minneapolis, I guess it's on, I think it's on Lake Street maybe. Um, so we went there, and then we stayed there for a little while. And then we went to Target because... You can't not go to Target on the weekends. So we popped into Target really quick. And then afterwards we went to Spy House for coffee. Um, they had coffee, I had tea. The lighting is really weird in here. This is better. Um, but yeah, so today was good. It's like five o'clock now. This was actually a really good weekend. So yeah, this may be it for the vlog. So I just want to go ahead and sign off here and tell you guys I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I had a great weekend. I hope you guys have a great week this week. Um, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, you should. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should. I'm currently private right now, and I won't be back on Instagram until February 1st or February 2nd. But go ahead, send a request. I'll look at it. As long as you're not weird and one of those robot requests, I'll just accept you. So you should do that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys later. That is insane. How do you feel about this? My butt looks huge. Please don't use that one day. <laughs> we'll crop out, we'll crop out your butt. <laughs> I have on pants, so that's why I have on a blanket wrapped around me. There's no point in lying to you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you all, so. Woo! Okay, I had to make like a makeshift tripod. Um, now I have to pee. God, I forgot my vitamin D pills. Ugh. It's 13, you guys. Where do I even live? I live in a tundra. But, yeah. <laughs>